I'm David LaFleur. Um, I'm from San Francisco, California. I've been at ACE for six months. I love it. I hope that the road that I'm going down takes me to the place that I want to be in life, be that archaeology or animal behavior um, or NPS work. Um, I'm still on the path, so I'm figuring it out. But before ACE, I had lived in a city my whole life and work customer service jobs and stuff like that and I realized I wasn't really satisfied with what I was doing and so I came out to ACE and I love the lifestyle, I love the work, I love being able to give back, I love being able to see the world as, uh, as it was seen hundreds and hundreds of years ago. It gives me so much joy and happiness to be able to live and work in nature and give back to nature. I got the chance to live and work with some really great crew members, um, people that I really do consider to be friends for life from now on, um, and family, honestly. I worked on the Alder Ridge reroute in the Mazatzal wilderness. I did five hitches, which is 37 days. We were working on the AZT, which is special to myself and the crew I was with because it runs right through Flagstaff where we stay, and it just so happens to be about five blocks from where we were living, so we'd all walked the AZT and had good times there. So it was great to be able to work on it and kind of give back to the trail they gave to us. Um, my favorite time working on the trail was when we approached an archeological site. Um, we could see terraces in the hillside, which captured my imagination. And we also got the chance to see some amazingly preserved petroglyphs. We saw a bunch of figures on a giant rock and a, and a perfectly preserved maze, and it really hit home that we were on land that's important. And uh, my crew and I would get together before work sometimes and say some words just to pay our respects to the people that lived there before. Um, we would say that we are creating a hiking trail so that people can enjoy the land that you appreciated and lived on. And I would always close it out with, we respect your land, we respect your legacy, and we respect your people. We wanted to pay our respects to the people that lived there before we had gotten there. The portion of the trail that we worked at was just across from North Peak. And I remember we would hike out in the mornings just before sunrise. And as we were hiking out, we would see the sunrise over this like ocean of mountains. And it was just absolutely beautiful. The portion of the Alder Ridge reroute that I worked on was trying to reroute the AZT away from power lines, which kind of made it feel less like you're out in the wilderness. And I do have to say, after hiking that trail for as long as I did, it felt like we were right in the middle of the wilderness. And we had hiked past the power lines and kind of been like, oh man, this is, this is changing the experience of hiking the trail. So I'm really, really happy that I had the chance to reroute a portion of the trail away from the power lines to really give people that sense of being out in nature and, and being out in the world without having to worry about all the stuff going on in like cities and towns and stuff like that. And um, my time in the Conservation Corps was special to me because I got the opportunity to serve something that was bigger than myself. It's volunteer service, so you really have to be passionate about what you go and do. And the work that I've done in ACE and the work that people do in conservation corps around the country really gives a chance for people to experience nature differently than they would normally. We're out there kind of building hiking trails, but also building trails for people to come out and get passionate about nature and really care about the earth that we've been given. So I've been working at ACE for six months and I just signed up for another six month term and I'm really excited to do it because one of my favorite portions of time while I was at ACE was working on the AZT in the Mazatzal wilderness. Um, I love the furry juniper trees and the towering agave and prickly pear larger than I'd ever seen them before. And it was, it was just a true pleasure to be able to be out there working and rerouting the trail.